Okay, everybody, let's welcome our hometown Spanish team, Fireballs GC. We are joined today by hometown hero David Pusch, Abraham Anser, hometown hero Sergio Garcia, and Thank hometown you. hero Eugenia Shakara. Welcome, guys. So just want to say welcome home to Spain. I'm going to ask the obvious question. How does it feel to be back? I'll start with you, Sergio. It feels amazing. Obviously, every time, uh, every time we come back to Spain, uh, it, feels, uh, it feels really, really good. Obviously, uh, home, home country for all four of us, I would say. You know, we're, <laughs> we, we're taking him in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the Spanish spirit. But, uh, yeah, and to come back to Valderrama, it's uh, super special, um, not only for me, but for, for all of us because of how much Valderrama means to, uh, to all of us, to Europe, uh, all, the, all the amazing things that uh, have happened here in this golf course. So, you know, we're, we're really excited about it. And Eugenio, how does it feel for you to be home? Yeah, it feels nice. Like Sergio said, I mean, I didn't come to Spain in, in a while. I think last time I was here was for Christmas, so feels a little weird, but I mean, I love it. Uh, it's so much fun and people, home crowds, uh, the food, and just to be able to see family and friends, it's something really nice. And obviously being in Valderrama, probably the best course we have in Spain, it's something special. And David, is there going to be an extra set of nerves for you this week as you're standing up there on the tee box with all the fans around? Maybe, but you know, at the end of the day, nerves are nerves are good, especially here in Valderrama. You know, with with all the home crowd behind behind us, um, it's it's amazing how much these these people support us in pretty much every shot. So, so just seeing the fans and just seeing Valderrama, how pure it is, um, it's going to be special for sure. And you know, we're looking forward for to it. And Abe, how does it feel to be the adopted Spaniard this week? <laughs> it feels really nice. I truly feel like they've taken me as one of their own. And uh, it's a golf course that we all love. I feel like everybody on this field is really excited to tee it up this week, uh, as we should be. This is an absolute gem, and uh, we're really excited. I think uh, the crowd is going to be definitely behind us. Uh, I think John is going to have a following as well. But uh, no, it's going um, to be phenomenal. That's a great segue. So obviously you guys are the Spanish team. However, do you feel there might be a little bit of a rivalry now because you have John Rahm and Legion 13 out here? Sergio? Well, I mean, there's, there's a rivalry with everyone, but, uh, but obviously yeah, we know uh, how good John is and, and what it means to, to Spanish golf too. So um, it's normal that he's going to have a big following here too uh, and, and his team. But, uh, you know, we're, we're happy where we stand and, and we know that, uh, you know, we're going to have a – an amazing support, so we're happy with that. And David, we sent a film crew to your home in Barcelona this week to kind of document your journey from where you started in Barcelona and how far you've come. Can you just take a moment to reflect on that and what that meant for you to, to have people going home and documenting your life? No, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Um, Danny and David, as well as Andrew, you know, they're, first of all, they're great people, right? So so he had a, we had a good time, and, and I think it's, it's going to be a pretty sick short documentary you know so so yeah it's unbelievable that you know live golf is you know came to my to my house to my home course and kind of record a little bit of everything and and what i used to do before before i was a professional and and what i do now and it's yeah again it's amazing you know how supportive everyone is pretty much and super excited of of w what we've been doing as as a team and and also the results i've been i've been getting so far and last one for me sergio you said that valderrama is your favorite golf course in the world can you just talk a little bit about that yeah i mean it's for me there's obviously you know there's nothing written about likes and dislikes and stuff but uh, for me i just love the way it plays uh, i love how it's not it's not a long course, but it makes you think uh, every single tee shot, every single shot into the greens. Uh, you have to think uh, about what you want to do. Um, I think that it's probably one of the few courses that probably makes you use every single club you have in the bag, uh, which is which is good to see. We don't we don't get to see that that often uh, in some of the newer designs. So um, so I think that. To me, in, in my personal opinion, that's, that's what makes a great golf course. So it's, um, you know, that's, that's one of the reasons. And, and, you know, the area is amazing. Uh, the support we get here from Andalusia and, and all the sponsors. So, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're 
extremely happy to be to be back here. Great. I'll kick it over to Mike. Sergio, just kind of building <clears throat> building on that. Uh, obviously, you've won here, I think, three times. But what would it mean uh, to win a, your first live event here at Valderrama? Well, Mike, it, it would be amazing. Uh, it would be a dream come true for sure. But um, you know, I know how how difficult it is. We we know the quality of the field that we have, so it's it's never gonna be it's never gonna be a given. But uh, you know, that's that's the goal to to play well, play consistent, give myself a chance, uh, help my teammates as much as possible, and and see if we can if we can get a double. That would be uh, obviously that would be the the dream week. Uh, and uh, you know, it's just a matter of going out there and and doing your best. That's all you can ask yourself for. Speaking of dreams, it could be a dream day on Sunday <laughs> with uh, Spain versus uh, England. You got uh, maybe Alcaraz in the Wimbledon finals. Uh, if you guys win, you win. Well, can you can you talk about that potential scenario? <laughs> that's a lot of ifs. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of ifs. So let's let's go slowly, <laughs> slowly, slowly. Um, uh, I guess slowly but surely. Uh, I guess that uh, the the thing we have to do, all four of us, is is have a solid week going into Sunday. Uh, put ourselves, as many of us as possible, up there with with a chance. Uh, that would be a good start. Uh, Carlos needs to win today. Uh, is it today or tomorrow uh, when they play? It's so today. So that's that's the second step, and um, and then uh, and then. At night, we'll watch we'll watch Spain against England and and see if uh, if we can make it an unbelievable Sunday. But um, you know, obviously, there's a lot of things that have to align for that. And uh, one last question for me for David and Eugenio: um, You're still among the youngest players out here, but this is your third year on Live. You each have two victories, uh, pro victories. Do you still feel like you identify as the the young kids out here, or are you kind of now uh, a bit more uh, older? I mean, if you go in age, yeah. But I mean, obviously, being three years already competing with probably a lot of the best players in the world, you get more confidence and more um, um, every 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 single week. And yeah, I mean, I think I think we're both proved that we can compete at this level and. Hopefully we can both have a great week in Spain. That'll be really special for both of us. Yeah, same for me. At the end of the day, it's it's true that we're one of the youngest players, but but we've been you know we've been playing golf for our entire lives, pretty much. That makes it 16 years, something like that, right? So so we have a lot of a lot of preparation, a lot of tournaments that we played. So so yeah, I think we're. We're ready and we're mature enough to to compete against these guys. Abe and Sergio, can you talk about the two young guys and just kind of how they've progressed uh, since you've seen them here on Live? Well, these guys are extremely talented. Um, we get to we get to play some really cool Wolf Hammer matches in the practice rounds as a team, and it gets it gets pretty intense. Um, and they're not they're not afraid. They played extremely aggressive, and they're very confident. Um, and I feel like every young guy is coming out of college now. They, they're they not afraid of, of winning. doesn't matter where you play. So I feel like maybe 10, 20 years ago, it took a lot of time for, for amateurs when they get to the to the big tours to, um, to win or, or feel comfortable. I feel like now young guys when they they turn pro they're they're ready to win and ready to compete so it's uh it's pretty incredible to see it and the amount of success they've already had uh, as young as they are is really incredible yeah no i agree totally uh obviously yeah like you said they they are young but they're they're well prepared um everyone coming out of college or amateur golf seems more prepared than than we ever were so uh, it's nice to see they're, they're two good kids um uh, Obviously, a lot of talent. Uh, they both can hit the ball very far and very well. So we we have a lot of fun together, and it's it's fun to see them grow uh, with us as as we go along. So it's been a it's been a good experience. Gino, you're eight years older than Lamine Yamal. Yeah. I feel old like that. I mean, <laughs> pretty 
Do we have any other questions in English before we switch to Spanish? Last call for English. Okay, Ileana will take over from here.